So another really successful thing that just came out of a newspaper story. So open your eyes, look around you and see, think of friends, family, relatives, what do they do, what do they know about, what hobbies and interests have you got, um, and read the newspapers. You know, some of my best ideas have come out of newspapers. So here's some more tips. Once you've got these things selling, don't just stick at selling them one thing. If somebody bought a Bulgaria property guide off me, what was the next email they got? Do you want to buy the Croatia property guide? Because I've got one of those as well, and there's a good chance you might be interested. So what you do is you build the value of your customer. So it's not like a single 20 quid transaction, but you sell other stuff to them as well. You build the value of every customer. I also looked around for other people with other products, which my customers might be interested in, and I found there's this company called Tax Cafe in the UK, and they sell tax planning guides. So I thought, well, they've got this guide called like, the Overseas Tax Saving Guide, so that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Why don't I offer anyone who's bought any of my property guides a guide from some other company to save tax, and I'll just take a commission on all those sales as well. So you just build this incremental value of your customers. It's not 20 quid anymore, because every you know, 5 in 10 might then buy the Croatia guide, and 2 in 10 might buy a tax saving guide off you. So all this stuff makes extra money. Another company there, Property Secrets, did some other property investment guides in more established markets for Brits like Spain and France and Italy. So I used to promote their guides as well. So sell other people's products. Do some JVs with some people. Now, the selling isn't hard. All you need to do is just write an email message and you set up something called an autoresponder. And when somebody buys product A, X days later, seven days later, send them an email telling them about product B, a week later telling them about product C, two weeks later telling them about product D, and you can just set up this whole series of pre-programmed messages that your system's going to automatically send them, and they're like your silent salesman. They're just going to send this stuff. So here's an example of one um, selling a government auction guide. And this one says, as a previous customer of la 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 la, we're writing to you to let you know about a great new service for the very latest auction listings in the UK. Get an amazing 25%, 50%, or even a massive 97% off property, transport, computers, antiques, mobile phones, audio, visual equipment, household goods, in fact, just about anything. So they're going to be interested? I have a look, quite not We've all got an eye for a bargain. And so there's like a simple email that was just a canned email that promoted someone else's product or service, which I earned a 50% commission on. So you see, you can use these things to build massive value. Once you start building this database of people that are interested in a topic, set this sort of stuff up, and build the value. Here's another example. I found a ClickBank product which related to property investment. Uh, it was mentioned yesterday, but for those who don't know, ClickBank.com. Great site for lots and lots of digital products. Just think of it as a, like a big library of digital products that you can sell on commission. So here's one little product, $4,000 in a month. That's l just like a nice additional extra income stream, isn't it? 2,000 quid. This screen actually shows you 27 minutes of elapsed time. Every one of those emails is about 12 quid. And this is just from a joint venture of existing customers. This isn't new customers I actually go and market something to. This is just me promoting something to my existing list of customers, and this is additional income. So you can make lots and lots of money once you've built this database through additional revenue. Another tip is upsell them. Offer them a more expensive gold option. There are some people that always want the Rolls Royce of, of products. To give you an example, you know, a car gets you from A to B, right? So a full focus would do, but Mr. Reynolds drives a Bentley. So the same thing here, you know, if you're selling, I've got an example there like plumbing course. If, you, if someone's interested in a plumbing course, see if you can sell them like a bricklaying course and a plastering course as well, because they might well be interested. It's like an upsell. It's like buy the complete home DIY set rather than just the, the plumbing or the plastering course. Another example there is a guitar. You know, if you're selling physical stuff, and we'll talk about physical stuff a bit later, you could just sell a guitar, or why not sell a guitar, a guitar case, a little guitar amplifier, a lead, a tuner, and like bundle it all up and then increase the value that you're selling stuff for. You know, I did things like the Overseas Property Investor Gold Package, which was just like a whole collection of all my e-books. You know, you can buy one for 20 quid, why not buy the whole jolly lot for 100 quid? And people bought the whole lot for 100 quid, and it's like, instead of making 20 quid, I've now made an extra 80 on those sales. So, Upsell. Think of other things, things you can bundle with, and once you've got more products, then that becomes easier. But upsell people to other things.